Melanoma was the, I think, the first disease for which immune checkpoint inhibitors was approved, starting with ipilimumab, and then as of 2015, anti-PD-1, nivolumab, and pembrolizumab got approved for metastatic disease. And as of 2018, those two drugs also got approved for the adjuvant situation. Both situations, adjuvant and, and metastatic disease, being treated with uh, checkpoint inhibitors really revolutionized the outcome of patients. But still, about 50% of patients having advanced <coughs> disease will succumb from the disease within five years uh, with, uh, of diagnosis from metastatic disease. So there is still a, an unmet need for patients having failed checkpoint inhibitors for innovative uh, and effective treatments. Now, till, uh, Treatment with tumor infringing lymphocytes, abbreviated uh, TIL, consists of the uh, surgical removal of a melanoma lesion. And then these are then uh, the either fragmented or digested uh, and cultured in the presence of interleukin-2 rich medium. And upon initial and sufficient outgrowth, these cells are then rapidly expanded uh, in, the, in the presence of uh, anti-CD3 antibodies, uh, irradiated um, feeder cells, and also interleukin-2 to uh, billions of, uh, uh, of cells. And these cells are then infused in patients um, that have received prior lymphodepleting chemotherapy to make physical space for the billions of cells that have been cultured in a period of between five and six weeks. And following infusion of the cells, uh, hydrogen interleukin-2 is uh, administered mostly four or five doses to these patients in order to um, uh, promote survival of the cells that we have inf infused. Now, there is a lot of uh, evidence that uh, TIL can be quite eff effective, but these are coming from um, non-randomized, mostly small to uh, intermediate size phase one and phase two clinical studies in different uh, 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 areas in the world, mostly academic institutions, but more recently also uh, pharma has um, uh, produced TIL, and all showing more or less is a similar result that this is, can be effective, but never a randomized control trial was performed. So we set out in to start a randomized control trial for Noma. All of these patients uh, um, uh, needed to have maximum of one prior line of treatment. The majority of these patients, 90%, would have had anti-PD-1 prior treatments. Of course, the disease needed to be measurable. Um, patient needed to have a good uh, performance status, and the LDH uh, should be normal or up to uh, two times of a limit of normal. Then patients that were uh, uh, following screening and were eligible were randomized between uh, uh, TIL treatment or epilimumab, where epilimumab was given at a standard uh, uh, schedule with three milligrams per kilogram uh, every three weeks for four doses. TIL treated patients, uh, TIL randomized patients would of course first undergo a metastec uh, metastectomy uh, to receive uh, tumors to grow the TIL, and after five weeks these patients would be hospitalized to receive first chemotherapy uh, consisting of cyclophosphamide and fludarabine, then the infusion of between 5 times 10 to 9 to 2 times 10 to 11 TIL, followed by interleukin-2 and follow-up. The, end, the primary endpoint of the study is progression-free survival, according to RESIS 1.1, per investigator review in the intention to treat population. And these are the outcomes. The study met this primary endpoint uh, with a follow-up time of, uh, a medium follow-up time of 33 months, uh, uh, till uh, 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 resulted in a reduction of 50% uh, compared to uh, ipilimumab in the uh, chance of uh, 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 disease recurrence or, uh, or death. The median PFS time was 7.2 months versus uh, 3.1 months for the patients treated with uh, ipilimumab. When we look at the overall responses uh, in these patients, also TIL was better compared to ipilimumab. In total, 49% of the patients had an uh, objective response. 20% uh, uh, patients had a complete remission compared to 21% of patients uh, having a response in EP, and 7% of these having a um, complete remission. When we look at the waterfall plots, about 70% of the patients had clinical benefit following TIL versus 40% of the patients with epilimumab. So I want to summarize already. So uh, this is the, uh, the first multicenter randomized controlled trial uh, uh, studying in uh, T-cell therapy in a solid cancer, in this case comparing uh, TIL to epilimumab 
as a more or less second line treatment uh, in patients with metastatic melanoma, as I showed you, uh, till significantly improved the progression free survival with a hazard ratio of 0 0.5 and a p value smaller than 0 0.001, till resulted in a 49% of uh, objective response rate and a 20% complete remission rate. I didn't show you the results of the safety, but there were no safety, new safety concerns uh, for TIL, as what we, uh, is known for, for this treatment. All of these uh, toxicities are driven by the lymphodepleting chemotherapy and the high-dose interleukin-2. Um, most of these uh, side effects were already uh, completely uh, gone by the time the patients were released from the hospital uh, and there were no long-term sequelae uh, uh, in patients treated with TIL. There was also a, a better health-related quality of life score for patients treated with TIL. So we think that TIL could become a possible new treatment option for patients with advanced stage melanoma. I would like to stop here. Thank <laughs> you.